Hello everybody, this is MF, and welcome back to more Eastward. Last time, uh, we tried to get through the whole time ripple thing that happened, and while we haven't had one yet, um, I, um, I don't know if we're out of it. Um, so I want to explore the rest of this area before I move on with the story. Uh... Just because, um, the guy said it, basically. Um, I don't know what's down here. <coughs> There's some enemies. Some crabs, or not crabs. They're like, not crabs, they're like scorpions or something. Did that go down? It did go down. Nah, it's just gonna... I can't reach... Oh, I see what's going on here. Hold on. I think. Was that close enough? No, I think... No, I think the issue is something else. Um, maybe I just have to do this. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Just a full power blast, and um, here we go. Gear part. That works. So that's what's here. Now there's another area up somewhere. Is it? Ow. Is it over here? Yeah, it could be this way, actually. Now is this where I was? I don't know who it was. Hey, stop that. Okay. Stop that too, can. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, they really hurt. Okay, I. I just need to check the map. I have been here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to be in another area. I think. I have to go from there, I think, up there. But how do I get around to that? Is this just here? Hey! What are you doing, man? Stupid bird! Alright. You know what? I figured you out. I was just being stupid before. Okay. I got like 2,200% now. Okay, well that's neat. Just some octopus. Um, and it's not over there. Do I have to go from a different place? Okay, so it restart completely. Is it up here, actually? I don't know. I don't think it is. Unless there's something here, though. Like, can we just kill this thing? Okay. I just want to see if there's anything here. Okay, there's something here. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. An advanced gear part. Alright, was that it? That's it for over here. Um, I think that there's a huge area to the side of the graveyard. Um, is the bomb still over there, by the way? Yes, it is. Okay. Let me check the graveyard. Um, I don't have any hearts left. I should probably eat something then. Uh, maybe not yet. So, it's up from here, I think. Yeah, so it's in this area over here. If I can't find anything, I'll just move on. But, um... Right. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything here. And I can't really do anything either. There's a lot of leaves. I feel like maybe... It leads somewhere else? 
I don't know. Maybe we should, should just continue the story for now. Yeah, yeah, you know what? We'll do that. You know, I just have to ask, Thomas. Don't I get boring on this island by, all by yourself all the time? All the time? Yeah, I mean, what am I saying? Captain ordered me to stay here. The captain? You know, I just have to ask, Captain. Isn't that a bit heartless? Thomas sure ain't getting any younger out here. Thomas, my boy. Aye. Has she returned? Aye. Then our long wait shall be coming to an end at last. How long has it been, eh? Already used up the last of my perpetual calendar. Haven't been able to keep a track since then. That long, is it? Within the time field, everything feels like it were just yesterday. Come along with us, then. Things will end up... Uh, things will be ending soon. Aye. Aye. Right. John, my boy! The sea once again calls our name. The drippin's so good, Thomas's nose will never... Will have near formed icicles. <laughs> Let's weigh anchor. Today looks to be an important day indeed. Har, 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 har. Alright, let's go. I'd like to get healed. But, I don't know how... That's gonna happen. He didn't do his goofy laugh. Come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? Wait! You folks wouldn't be able to deliver a few things for me, would ya? I suppose I'd be willing to lend my delivery personnel to you for a spell? I've got a letter for Guy at the Red Rocket Repair, one for Frank at the train graveyard, and one for Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Come see me back at the dock once you've done. Alright. Fair enough. Um. Okay. Um. I can't really heal up. Um. But I, I, I'm not going to take damage here anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I'd like to, you know, buy some stuff so I can heal up. Because I don't want to use these, because they're, they have, like, special things, you know? Alright, so we're talking to... Do they say anything different? Is the place really so great when it comes to operations? You even have to ask? And after all we've been go going through here... Uh, after all we've gone through to get here, just look at that snow. Take in that smell of soot. Yeah, we've seen this before. So we can go in here now. Hey, man. What's that? Delivery for me? Smith, let those two outside in. We can get the, to do. We can do the operation now. Ah, oh, wait. This isn't the ship, actually. It's a letter from Thomas. Thomas. Let me see that. Ha! I knew it. No operations today, I'm afraid. I'm going out. All right, bye-bye. Well, what do you have to say, Smith? He may not look it, but Guy used to be one of the world's leading robot scientists. The emotion ship? His invention. Oh, yeah? Okie doke. Um, was that Master Guy that just went running past here? But what about the operation? Not today, friend. All right, we're going to this uh, train graveyard, but I'm going to go to uh, Esther's Hotel, so that is over here. We're not going to the other part of the town. Although there might be some unique dialogue now, I... I don't know. Anyway, um... Here we go. Professor Ivan! Professor Ivan! Who's there? We got something for you from Mr. Thomas. Thomas, you say? Yeah, Thomas from the Island of Time. Give it to me, now. Finally, after all this time, you've returned. How long has it been then, my old friend? To us, it was only yesterday, but to you, it must have been a lifetime. Okay, well, there you go. Now we're going to the train graveyard, and, um... As I'm saving that for the end, it's because... Um... 
Well, I haven't been there yet, so we're gonna do that. Look at that. Oh, there's a guy here. Hello. I really regret it, you know? I could've stayed warm and toasty back in that lab. But no, I had to go and apply for field work in this godforsaken place. You got stuck here with a job you couldn't turn down to? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a meteorologist. Meteorolog ah, meteorologist. Oh my god, I can't say it. Meteorologist. There you go. You see. Studying the effects of the miasma on our climate. Well. But strangely, it turned out it's not actually that as dangerous as I thought. At least to our climate, that is. If my theory is correct, the miasma has the power to completely eradicate all, all abnormal weather. Same as it has the power to eradicate, well, us. He's saying us, not US. Alright, um... Maybe we should check out these people over here. I didn't know there were people here. Hello. Oh, we could've gone from there. Okay, whatever. I'm telling you, if it makes you uncomfortable, I'll resign from the university right now. I will. No, no, you mustn't. I would never. And, and truly, I'm, I'm overjoyed at your feelings for me. I'm just worried about what others will think. You're my teacher, after all. Ugh, taboo relationship. I don't care what anyone thinks. Please don't get upset. I just, maybe I need to discuss things with my sister. I only care about what you think. Please, just tell me how you feel. I, um, you can, there's some people looking at us. I'm sorry, uh, is there anything we can do to help? I don't believe any of this concerns you. My professor, um, I mean, this gentleman. No, my partner. He, uh, I, I, I would very much like to marry him, but he's my teacher, you see. What did you say? Um, you're my teacher? No, no, before that. I would very much like to, um, marry you? <laughs> then I don't need to worry about myself anymore. My heart is as clear as the Esther City sky. I cannot thank you enough, my you two gentle souls. The Esther City sky? Uh, I guess. Yeah? Let's get to the train graveyard and um, find this gentleman person. Uh, this is a a civilization place, sort of. I've got ice in joints I didn't even know I had. I swear, winter here in the city is just a long railroad with no end in sight. You robots have it made. I can't feel a single thing. You talk about that like it's a bad thing. It's not. I'd sure like to feel the cold just once. Oh, hey, mail's here. Finally. Excuse me, which one of you is Mr. Frank? Frank? Damn it. Thought it was for me. Frank's this overgrown lump on a log over here. By the way, you folks think you could, uh, ask the cat to captain of you or something for me? What's that Lou boil of my finally gonna get here? My bowel's gone and froze over. Leave me a brand new with a lower freezing point. Without it, these knees are mine a lot cleaner. And once that happens, well, just call me Robo Zombie. Ha! <laughs> um, um, Frank? I didn't mean it, but truly. You're not angry, are you? I hope not. I wouldn't like to see him angry, you know. Is that you, mother? I'm not anyone's mother. Who, why does everyone call me that? My name's Sam, not mother. Whatever, just take your letter. Come on, John. We're going. Okay. So we did it. He really came back. I guess he remembers mother, huh? What's over here? Oh, this is the iron carbine. Okay, so here's the... Uh... Yeah. I want to check around here. I want to see what's around. Eternal Tower. Well, hello there. That's a tower we can't go into yet. I'm assuming it's going to be um, relevant at some point, but... Oh, there's a treasure. Uh, I don't see it, but... Oh, there it is. How do I get that? Okay. Around here? 
I probably are in here. There we go. Ooh, nice. Can we upgrade something now? I should probably check with uh, John's Emporium before I uh, go back to uh, the captain. Abandoned tracks. Is there anyone else around here? Uh, no. Alright, so where was that Emporium? Um, we could just fast travel there, I guess. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, so, I don't remember where that was. Is that up here? Uh, hmm. What's this? Oh, tokens, right. I don't, I don't want tokens. In fact, I don't know if I can hold anymore. So this is it, right? There we go. Okay, see if we can do up. Whoa. Okay, that's better. I don't know why it does that. Um, so we have four. Um, I don't know. I don't really use this one, so I'm gonna upgrade the cog upgrade. Cog. I'm gonna upgrade the cog upgrade. That's right. Exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Uh, that's what we're doing. All right, let's go back. Winter always seems to last forever here in Nessa City. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you said that earlier. Although, you probably don't remember talking to us. So there's that. All right. We finished delivering every... <laughs> We finished delivering everything. That's f three long words in a row. Just missed them. Captain Orion left with Thomas. Heard him mumbling something about the, uh, what was it again? Ah, right, the Eternal Tower. Okay, not sure why though. Nothing and no one to see there. There's not even a way to get inside since that door's always closed. Can't imagine what they'd be up to in a place like that. John, do you hear that? Let's go. We've already been there. So, this is going to be relevant much sooner than I thought it would be. Um, okay, let's just go there then. What are, you all, what are you guys doing here? Allow us to reintroduce ourselves, would you? Captain Pam. Codename Knight, at your service. Okay. Ivan here. Codename Monk. And I'm Guy. Codename Hunter. Thomas. Codenames Mage and Thomas the Just. Frank. He's just Frank, I guess. Oh, he's priest. All right. He doesn't change, though. So not fair. Still can't believe Thomas gets two code names. Oh, so not fair. That's what he says. Okay. And I can't believe you're still bringing this up after all these years. Do we really have to say the name again? At this age, it's, well, embarrassing. Embarrassing, is it? And who was it that came up with the name in the first place, eh? Enough already, you scurvy dogs. Now then, we are the Power Rangers. The Rocket Knight Legion. I see. But wait, isn't that from Earthborn? On the money. Us five, we're the originals. And you're our princess mother. Mother again. Don't call me that. I'm Sam. I hate to interrupt all the fun we're having, but I'm afraid our time's quickly running out. The good man is right. Seeing all me mates again has just about wiped the real issue clean from my mind. Wait, I mean, four of you were already in the city, so... Couldn't you just see each other? Well, whatever. We got a gift for you. A gift? If you believe... Uh, if you would, Frank? 
Oh, the Sonic Pong. The Sonic Pong. Greetings, lab assistant Sam and John. The Sonic Punk reporting for duty. Mr. The Sonic Punk? Where did you go? I sustained damage due to interference in this as a city, but Master Guy repaired me. It's no trouble at all, really. Though I may have to say, I would have to, I have to say, I would love to see whoever created this little guy. I'm not sure if I could find talent like that even here in Essa City. Alright, oh, I, I may or may not have given him some new functionality. New functionality? Searching for Isabel? So, single found, single found. That's right, check it out. I call it the Time Anchor Radar. Using Ivan's theories, I discovered some, well, let's just call them special things within the time field. They reflect projections in the form of standing waves, which is where the Time Anchor Radar comes in. It scratches all that's complicated wave activity and latches onto the fleeting projections. And by the looks of it, he's already found something too. Come on, guys, really? You couldn't have waited till I was done talking? Apparently not. Looks like he's found something. Searching complete. Found Isabel. You did it. Isabel. Well, kind of. Isabel, hey! Finally, after all this time. Are you listening up there, you godforsaken fort tower? You better open that damn mouth of yours. Because this thorn in your throat, it's coming in. I'm going up, and I'm going to end this once and for all. Alva. Alva! Alva's here too? What? Well, who's there? Show yourself. Isabel! Can you see me? Huh? Isabel? I'm right here. Must be seeing things. Come on, let's go. I, I'm getting an inkling here. That door leads to Solomon's hideout, and the only thing that can open it is the flame of time. The flame of time? It's an invention of Solomon's. A ball of concentrated energy, basically. The bloke's dead now, though. Ain't he? Then where could the flame have run off to? <clears throat> Mind if I say a few words? If Isabel was able to find the flame, then Isabel is our clue. If we follow her, we should be able to find a flame. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on this little guy then. Okay. Um, sure. Alright, I wonder what myself, uh, all the past would have to say about all this. If I had a guess, you'd have probably already cursed the door out. Then left to drown your sorrows back at the dock. <laughs> Don't remember you having this much of a mouth on you, Frank. Must be from hanging out with that smart-mouthed robot all this time. Random aside, Thomas. But how in the world do you keep yourself occupied on the island all by yourself? Oh, you know, fishing, growing stuff. And if my hip wasn't acting up, playing a few rounds of Earthborn. You must be an expert by now, then. Nah, nah. I mean, I can just squeak out a win if I'm lucky. If I uh, had some pix balls, though. Damn, the fact you can beat it without pix balls is talent enough. I'm talking Earthborn Master here. Pretty sure not even guys down that. Oh, <laughs> so funny. As if anyone could be better than the creator of the game himself. And as if I've never seen you sneak in as pix ball or two during battle. I see. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I'm gonna go back and save. Um, is there a save point right here? No, okay. But yes, there is. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna save here. But before I do, um, is something up with Frank? The minute he woke up this morning, he went straight to the Eternal Tower. Yeah, he did. Uh, okay, we can rest here. Uh, so let me rest. Uh, before we save. And I want to say this, because... Uh, unless I lost it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not playing Earthborn. Uh, you get these little tidbits of information, or tips, or whatever you can you want to call them. Um, and, um... Now I kind of know some of the functions of the game. 
Um, so when I play it, I will have some knowledge. You, you know what I'm getting at. Anyway, uh, we're gonna save here. Memories are different from other things. It may be cold here, but if you don't store them properly, they'll still go bad. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today. I'll cook something next time we start up. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time for more Eastward. See you then. Bye-bye.